Hello and welcome, Exiles, to my day one update to the Spellblade Inquisitor. And right now you'll notice we are doing a level 81 Sanctum. I'm level 89. I have played for exactly about 10 hours 42, and then I went to bed, slept like a baby, and I'm feeling pretty good. Now, going into what we're doing right now, my current gear is a Ghost Rite 4 Link. I'm using the Malachi setup with the Blood Magic, and I've been enjoying this. I think eventually, obviously, you want to get out of this, but I think for the early game of not having to deal with mana, it's just kind of nice, and it's a really cheap helmet. Uh, we got an Astramentus. We got some rare rings. I ended up trying out Magnate because I realized it was above 400 strength, and that's some pretty good damage, so I put that on. Felices for the Pseudo 5 Link, and our main damage skill, believe it or not, is bum bum bum. Penance Brand of Dissipation. Turns out it's still just better than everything. Uh, we tried Tornado plus Firestorm of Helting, and it was good. It was acceptable. It was probably above average on, in terms of spell skills. And then I put this thing on, and I realized, holy cow, this thing got a 70% damage nerf, and it's still just better. This thing is crazy strong. It took me from doing high-tier yellow sanctums, where I'd ended around 4-4 with, like, a level 80 sanctum, and it was, like, kind of sketch if I didn't have good boons, to I'm just cleaning out, and it feels disgusting. Now, granted, I'm probably a bit too squishy for red sanctum, so I have to play, like, pretty carefully at this point, but it's still, like, wholly unethical. Anyways, that's where we are currently. This is us trying to farm some gear. I was going to give you a little quick little showcase of what this looks like in terms of like, uh, and you'll see like it starts out like lower damage, but it just ramps really fast. And on top of that, rogues, when they're next to each other, they start um, taking multiple damage. Like say there's, this is only one guy over here. Um, say there's two rogues and they're next to each other. Penance Brand will start hitting both of them. And it's just like a way higher damage amount than you'd otherwise be getting and it's kind of crazy in that regard now i'm gonna go on dnd in case i start getting messaging i'll go ahead and clear another room um just give you guys a look uh I'll probably go over here and avoid the other afflictions and then i'm gonna go over what i earned so i did 10 hours 40 minutes of gameplay or whatever and over that course of time we made um and you'll know also i have galvanic field here this is basically just mixing in some supplemental dps it's something where i can be off the screen i can proc it and the penance brand will still be going and it'll proc on the enemy and just deal some extra damage now i might maybe should be going to galvanic field of intensity just in case to guarantee the higher damage because galvanic field right now requires a pretty big shock and i'm not necessarily going to get that bigger shock i probably should switch to galvanic field of intensity but i'll do that after this video um anyways so basically you see how it plays we put down brands and we run around brands are kind of the king in sanctum as far as i'm concerned they just kind of get it done better than pretty much everything else and this skill is the king of brands. It does way more damage than most other options. Now, you'll see what I'm talking about. There's two guys. They're next to each other. And, well, okay, they died too fast. But you get what I'm saying. If there's two guys next to each other, they start to deal um, multiple hits of damage because of all the brands going off. Like, these guys standing right next to each other. But, okay. It happens more often than I'm showcasing here. But they people do end up standing next to each other. And when they do, they result in more damage. And you'll see I procced um, Galvanic Field there. It basically, wherever the enemy is on screen... If my penance brand then shocks them, that'll start dealing damage. Now I'm gonna swap the galvanic field of intensity for more consistent damage. Because right now, if I proc the galvanic field early when it's a very sm like a smaller penance brand hasn't ramped that much, it's gonna be a small shock. It's not gonna deal as much. Whereas galvanic field of intensity is always pretty much the it's very consistent extra damage, and that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Now let's talk about how much money we made for our league start um with 10 hours of 42 minutes of gameplay now full disclosure we did our first sanctum at about the four hour 40 minute mark of the league and then on top of that we did um fail i fail i think about three or four sanctums where i had some decent loot on the line because i did really stupid things for example one of my my i think it was very my my second sanctum i have it i had a decent run going currency wise and then all around on floor two for no reason at all, I clicked an Afflicted Fountain. Just because, like, you get to the end of the reward and then you just start auto-clicking things. And I clicked the Afflicted Fountain and I gave myself Fiendish Wings, which is one of the worst afflictions you can get, especially early on. Because you just get chipped down throughout the entire run because enemies start hitting you fast. Now, although that happened, uh, we made roughly, uh, I think, around 10-ish Divines of Currency. And I reinvested that currency into... A bit of my gear, like the Magnate and the Astramentus, and this shield was a little bit of an upgrade from my other shield I had previously. Stuff like that, a bit of a rare ring upgrade, things like that. We upgraded a little bit in our gear, and then I invested into, essentially, 
Uh, things that I think are going to increase in value. I bought some intelligence rings. I saw these were only one divine. I think that's a great buy early league. They're going to go up in value. Same thing with a lot of good synth implicits. I bought a grand spectrum for endurance charge for 2.2 divines. And I think that's going to go up in value. I think it already has. I think that's a great investment. Same thing with the min friends of your min power. If you get those early for a cheap price, things good investment. They're going to go up in value. I think that's my basically I'm playing an economic game a little bit because the way I think about it is if I'm only going to play ethical hours, I might as well have my money make money while I'm offline. And there is no greater volatility in the market than the first few days of the league in terms of stuff that starts out low and spikes high. I bought three empowers for about 20 C a pop. I bought four enhances for five C a pop and I bought an enlighten or I think it was about 1.2 divine, which I think it'll go up and I have some enlightens in here or some enhances here that I'm gonna level up. I bought a cane with some quality on it. It was 5C. I thought this was a steal. I actually just bought this for the quality and then I took a second look at it and it has cold damage, cold dot multi plus level support. And my eyes just went, what did I buy? Because this thing's just insane. This is like a best in flock cold dot item. I bought it for 5C and I was literally just buying it for the quality. I didn't, I didn't like, I took a second look at it after I bought it, I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but I could probably resell this later for a lot of money because that's literally best in slot for cold dot if you're doing a cane, a cane sub, which I was just like, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy is what I was thinking. Um, as for outside of that, uh, I bought uh, some Frenzies of Onslaught. I don't know if these are going to go up. They're 1C a pop. I thought maybe they'd go up. They're 2C now. I, I, maybe that was a bad investment. And I also bought a Wrath Pith. I'm starting to assemble gear pieces that I need for the character going forward for the tri stack. I bought this for 90C. Uh, turns out Wrath Pith is now 50C. So uh, it went down. But the thing is, when it comes to some key items, Wrath Pith is one of those ones where I'm not sure if it's going to get go up or if it's going to stay or if it's going to go down. Wrath Pith, I was less sure about it. So I decided I'd rather lock it in because it's something I really, really want later on. Uh, and that's what I did. There was Ivory Tower. I could have bought that one. That one I was pretty confident it's going to go down in price at the time. It was... At the time when I checked, it was 24C. Let's go ahead and check right now. If we go through, do this. What's our ivory tower looking like? If it loads. Essentially, ivory tower, I assumed, would go down in value. I think it's a pretty common item. Yeah, now they're now the base ones are 10C. And they were they were 20C last night. Same thing happened with Wrath Pith. I was less confident about Wrath Pith, so I went and pulled the trigger on it. Outside of that, we have some fusing, some uh, jewelers, some other stuff. And the other things I bought was some tailoring orbs because I'm going to need those later uh, when I craft my chest piece because they were about 6C yesterday. So I bought eight of them. I think this should give me about a 99% chance to hit 8% defense on my ivory tower. A lot of people looked at my POB and they said, no way, you have an enchanted ivory tower. That's unethical. You can't get that. But they don't understand that tailoring orbs on League Start are dirt cheap. And buying these for 6C a pop was just just made sense and uh so overall i think our, our eight percent defense is going to cost us about 50c which is pretty much what i what i thought when i was going into this i remember last league i played ivory tower i bought taylor and orbs and they were about 10 to 15 c when i bought them last league so i bought them a bit earlier this time and they were even less and that's uh it, it helps when you know what an economy looks like in a league start and uh we're playing based on that so we'll see how this stuff works out but all in all, this is the start of the character. We're level 89, Lance Snacks on Fub Tears. We are in the competition, in the heat of battle. And I will be streaming later today after I take a shower while this video renders. Um, anyways, uh, this is the current setup. The, the goal for today is going, or the goal for the rest of this day is going to swap into Tri-Stack. We're going to start getting more of those key pieces assembled. Cyclopean Coil, Shaper's Touch, Ivory Tower, Balbala. That's the target for today. Probably going to form a bit more 81 Sanctums for some currency. And we'll see where we go. As always... Oh, one more thing about Sanctums. No, they didn't remove Divines. They're 100% still there. They didn't change the rewards in Sanctum except for Awakened Sextants for Veiled Scarabs, like they said. That being said, Veiled Scarabs are pretty rare. As far as I can tell, I haven't found some yet, whereas previously I would have already found like 100 Sextants plus in my run. So they're definitely rarer, but all in all, the rewards are still Sanctum. They're still Divines, Chaos fusings, whatever currency you get your hands on. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. Take care and peace out, exiles. Have a good one.